Hello, this is Mr. Matelski, and we are looking at the percent unit test review B, and we'll be going over it so that you can uh, take the retake test. The first section says convert the following decimals into percentages, which means you need to move right two units. So here we're going to move right two, one, two, put a new decimal point and fill it in with a zero. So then that would be 580%. And we do that for each one. One, two. That would be 2.58%. And the last one, one, two. That'd be 45%. The next section says convert the following percentages into decimals. Now we moved left two. So here, one, two. We have to be very careful with all the zeros. That would be 0 0.000008. Here, 1, 2, that would be 3.57. And 99, 1, 2, that would be 0 0.99. Remember that with whole number percents, the decimal is at, at the end of the... Uh, problem even though it's not written there at the end of the number I mean. The next section number 789 what you need to do is find the following percent of whole numbers you need to write the percent as a decimal and then multiply by the number. So this would be 0 0.67 times 40 this would be 0 0.08 times 87 And this would be 0 0.23 times 261. And you would plug each of those in your calculator to get an actual amount. The next part says find the percent of the shape that is shaded. Do not estimate. Round to the nearest hundred if necessary. Well, in number 10, if we count the blocks, it's a 5 by 5 block, that's 25. And 5, 10, 15, 20 out of the 25 are shaded. Well, 20 out of 25, if we scale that up by 4 over 4, that would be 80 over 100. So that percent would be 80% shaded. In the star, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sections. Three of those five sections are shaded. Three-fifths is one of those common fractions we should have memorized. That's 60%. And in number 12, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sections. 6 out of 8 of them are shaded. 6 out of 8 reduces to 3 fourths, which is 75%. In this section, we solve the following estimation problems. You must show your work to receive full credit. 13, use a fraction to estimate 11% of 72. Well, we know 11% is very close to 10%, and 72 is very close to 70. So if we could do 10% of 70, that would be a lot easier. Well, 10% is 1 tenth, and 1 tenth times 70 is 7. Down here, 79% is very close to 80, and 124 is very close to 125. So if we do that, 80% of 125, 80 is one of our common fractions, that should be 4 over 5 times 125. And if we do that, we get 500 over 5, which is 100. Moving along, it says, read the following sales tax problems and calculate the requested amounts. Show your work round to the nearest penny. Number 15, Susan's family spends seventy four eighteen while dining out at Red Lobster. If PA sales tax is 6%, how much money does Susan's family pay in tax? So we're going to take the percent, convert it to a decimal, that's 0 0.06, and we're going to multiply it by the spending amount, 7418. And when we do that, 
we get 4.4508, and that's going to round to $4.45 in tax. Number 16, Lisa buys a new Chevy Malibu listed for $26,005 and has to pay a sales tax of 5.8%. How much money in total, that's a key word, does Lisa pay for the car? So we're going to convert this percent to a decimal. That'd be 0 0.058. And then we're going to multiply by the price of the car. That's $26,005. So if we punch that into our calculator, we get this, $1,508.29. But we don't want to put that as the answer because it's how much does she pay for the car. So now we need to add $26,005 to that. And that gives us a total cost of the vehicle at $27,513.29. Moving on to 17 and 18, the directions say read the following markup markdown problems and calculate the requested amounts. Show your work. Round to the nearest penny. Number 17 says a men's suit is on sale for 55% off the original price of $275.29. How much money is the discount? What is the new price of the suit? So to find the discount, we need to take the percent and make it a decimal. That's 0 0.55. We're going to multiply that by the original price of the suit. That's $275.99. Oh, and 29 cents. Sorry about that. So if we do 0 0.55 times 275.29, we get 151.409, which would be round to 401. So that's the discount. 151.41. The new price, well, it's a discount, so we're going to subtract. We're going to take 275.29 and subtract off 151.41. So 275.29 minus 151.41. And that gives us the new price at $123.88. Number 18, a restaurant pays 48 cents per frozen chicken finger they purchase. If they mark up each chicken finger by 180%, what is the selling price of one ch chicken finger? So we're going to take the percent, move it two places to the left. That's a decimal of 1.80. And we're going to multiply that by 48 cents to find out the amount of markup. So 1.80 times 48 that is 0.864, so the markup is going to be 86 cents. The new price we're going to add because it's a markup. It was 48 cents to purchase it, plus the 86 cents of markup. So if we do 48 cents plus 86 cents, the new price of a chicken finger is going to be $1.34. Moving on, read the following problem carefully and calculate the requested amounts. Round to the nearest penny. Number 19, Stephen wants to buy a pair of van shoes that are regularly priced $69.99. Luckily, the store is having a sale and, and has the shoes marked down by 10%. If he must pay a sales tax of 9%, what is the final price Stephen would owe? Well, we're first going to find the discount of 10%, so we're going to do 0.10 times the price of the shoe, $69.99. And if we do that, we're going to get 6.999, so the discount is really going to be $7. So that makes the new price, $69.99 minus $7, that's $62.99. That's the amount that we need to figure out the tax on. So if it's a 9% tax, we're going to do 0 0.09 times that new price of $62.99. And when we do that, we get $5.6691, 
So that means the tax is going to round to 567. So the final price would end up being the 6299 as the discounted price plus the tax of 567. So we do 6299 plus 567. Final price of those shoes would be 6866. Moving on, it says determine if the following problems are percent increases or percent decreases. Write the appropriate adjective on the line, then calculate the percent change. Look at the original to new. Do you see how it goes up? So therefore it's an increase. And in order to do this, we do the big minus the small divided by the original. So 9.5 minus 3.2 is 6.3. We divide that by 3.2. We get 1.96875. We round it or we move it over two places. That'd be 196.88% increase. Number 21, Mr. Matelski's period 6-7 class started the year with 29 students. Now there's 27 students. So we subtract 29 minus 27, divide by 29. That's 2 over 29. This is a decrease. It goes down. And 2 divided by 29 is 0 0.06896. We scoot it over two places. That'd be a 6.90% decrease. Number 22 is commission. Commission, all we do is take the percent and multiply it by the amount. So we're going to take the percent, move it over two decimal places, and multiply by $1,175. And we get $108.33. It's 0.335, so we're going to make it 34 cents. We're going to jump over the conversion table at the top and move down to the interest problems. So interest, we use the formula I equals PRT. I always make a list on the side, P, R, and T. Principal is the starting amount. She deposits 200 into the bank. The rate is 1.08. We scoot that over two places. That'd be 0 0.0108. And the time is nine years. So we just need to find the interest. So we're going to plug it into the formula, P, times R times T. And if we do that, we get $19.44. The next one, we're going to do the same thing. P, R, T. The principal is 40000 The rate is 0 0.0499 converted, 48 months, that's four years, and we're going to do now interest is 40,000 times 0 0.0499 times four, that gives us $7,984 in interest, and then we need to add that to the original Oh, it just says interest, so we don't need to add that to the original at $79.84. If I did ask you to find the overall total that she owed, you would add $40,000 to uh, the $7,984. Good luck studying.